In this video, I will show you how to play emulation games from the Armor Crate and Steam library directly without going to the emulator itself. This process will make all your emulation games feel like Steam game. By simply pressing one button, you can start enjoy your favorite emulation games. Here is a short clip for all the emulation systems that I will cover in this video. This strange bloom keeps getting thicker. To make all those happen is actually pretty easy. All we need is this command on the screen. And I call this the golden command. We can use this command and make every single emulation game launch from Armory or Steam library. I will use Switch Yuzu emulator to do a step-by-step -step detailed example first, because the basic setup process are all same for other emulators. The only difference for each emulator is to enable the full screen mode. I will show this for each emulator in its own section. Ok, let's get started with Yuzu emulator first. So here is my Yuzu emulator folder. If we go inside, we should have the Yuzu EXE file here. All my game ROMs are stored inside this ROM folder here but you might have a different folder and location for your Switch game ROMs. But this really doesn't matter. All we need to know is where your Yuzu EXE file and game ROM files are located. Once we have those information, we need to create a new text file. You can create this file at any location on your PC. It doesn't have to be inside the Yuzu folder. Here I just created inside the Yuzu folder for demonstration. I prefer to rename this text document as the Switch game name. So here I will just name it to Zelda. Then double click and open it up. Then copy your Yuzu Emulator EXE file path from the top address bar and paste it into the text document. And make sure you type in the quotation mark in front of the first letter and type in slash yuzu exe after the pasted pass. So this is your full pass of yuzu exe file. And make sure you add a quotation mark at the end here. Then add a space here, and type in dash f, another space, dash j, space again, and then type in a quotation mark here. Next, we need to go to your game ROM folder and copy the game ROM file path into this text document. Once you get into your game ROM folder and copy the path from the top address bar, and paste it into the text document just right behind the quotation mark. Then type in a slash here and go back to your game ROM folder and copy the game ROM file name, including the file format extension. Make sure you include the file extension here. It doesn't matter what kind of game format you have, just make sure you include the file extension when copy from here. Then just paste everything back into the text file, and add a quotation mark at the end. Double check and make sure everything is correct, and no extra space or missing space or quotation marks here. Then we can select this whole thing and click copy. After you click copy, you can keep this command inside this file or you can delete it. It doesn't matter, this is just a temporary place for us to create this command. At this point, we have successfully created the command we need. For all other emulators, the command creating process will be exactly same as the Yuzu emulator I show here. If we look closely at this command, inside the first quotation mark, we have our emulator exe file path, 
and inside the second quotation mark, we have our game ROM file path. For the game ROM file path, always make sure you include the game format extension. The dash F and dash G are for launching the game in full screen mode automatically for Yuzu emulator. And this portion will be different for each emulator. So for this part, I will show the specific command or configuration for each emulator in its own section in this video. If you follow this command strategy, you should be able to start all your emulation games from Steam or ARM Crate. Now let's back and continue our process. Then we can close this text file. Next, we need to change the text file extension from txt to exe. This is very important, so please make sure you do this. Click yes to process the extension change. Now we should have this dummy exe file here. We will use this file to launch our game from Steam and Armor Crate. I found this dummy exe method is the best method that works for both Steam and Armor Crate. This dummy exe file creation process will be same for all emulators. The next thing we need to do is adding this dummy exe file into your Steam library or Armor Crate. First, I will show how to do this in the Armor Crate. So inside your Armor Crate, click the Add button from top right corner. Then press the RB or LB shoulder button that will open the file explorer. Next, navigate to where your dummy exe file is located. Double click on the dummy exe file. It should show up in this list here. Then just click down. Then select the game and press the X button on your ally. And go to edit game information. Click edit basic information. First, let's delete everything under the launch CMD tab. Then paste the command we created in the step one into the CMD tab. Just double check and make sure everything is pasted here correctly. Also, we can change the game title from here. Then just put any name that you prefer and click done. Now, if we click the edit button on the right, we can add an image cover to this game. The armor crate prefer to have 720p or 1080p picture. So you can easily find them over internet. Here, I will just pick an existing image from my ally. Click and select this image, then click done. Now we can just go back to the game library. At this point, we have successfully added the Switch game into the armor crate. From now on, we can just simply press button X to start up this game from the armor crate. If you want to add more games, just repeat step 1 to step 3. Once you did this process couple times, you will find it is pretty easy to do actually. Now let's add the emulation games into the Steam library. I called this step 4, but this is independent with step 3. You can skip step 3 if you are not going to use Armor Crate. So all we need here is the command we created in the step 1 and the dummy exe file created in the step 2. So in your Steam, click on the Steam library. Then click Add a game from the bottom left corner. Select Add a no Steam game. Click the Browser button. Then navigate to the dummy exe file we created in the step 2. Double click on the exe file. Then click Add selected program. Now the game should show up on the left side. Select that game and click the gear icon and go to the property, then delete everything inside the target tab. Paste the command we created in the step 1 into this tab. Double check and make sure everything is pasted correctly. Then we can close this window. Now if we click the play button from Steam, this game is ready to play. The last thing we can do in the Steam is adding the game artwork. I suggest you to download all the game artwork from the website called SteamGridDB. 
This website has all the format that Steam required. I downloaded all my artwork from there. So I will just quickly apply the artwork here for this game. After we apply the game artwork, the emulation game will look like a Steam game in your library. That's pretty much all for the detailed step. Make sure you watch the step 1 to step 4 first if you want to make this happen for the other emulators. I will only show the command for the rest of each emulator. If extra configuration is required inside the emulator, I will include that as well. Let's get started with the switch Ryujin's emulator first. So here is the command format for the Ryujin's emulator. Also included an example here, just for better understanding. Inside the Ryujin's emulator, under the option menu, make sure you check the box Start Game in full screen mode. Now let's move to the VU Simu emulator. The VU emulator setup is slightly different, but the main idea is the same. So first, inside the Simu emulator, select the VU game and create a shortcut. Then select the shortcut and go to the property and copy everything under target. Everything inside the target actually is our command. Then open your ARM crate or Steam and paste it into our dummy exe file. Make sure you manually add the quotation marks here. So this is how the command should look like. This is the Dolphin emulator for the V and GameCube. The command format is pretty standard for the Dolphin emulator. All we need is your Dolphin EXE file pass and your game ROM file pass. I listed two examples here just for different ROM types. Inside the Dolphin emulator, go to the option menu, select graphics setting. Under the general tab, make sure you check start in full screen option here. Now let's move to the PS3 emulator RPCS3. In order to create the command, we need to find the eBoot bin file pass. There are two types of PS3 game ROM, the folder type game ROM and the PKG installed game. The eBoot bin files are located in different locations for both types. I have listed the eBoot bin file locations for both type games. Also, two examples are given on this page. Inside the emulator, go to the configuration menu, then select emulator. On this page, make sure the exit RPCS3 when process finish is checked. Also, check start games in full screen mode. That's all we need to configure inside the emulator. The next one is the PS2 emulator PCSX2. The PS2 command is pretty standard, nothing special here. Inside the PS2 emulator, go to the settings menu, select interface, and put check mark in the start full screen box. Uncheck confirm shutdown box. Then we have PS1 emulator dock station. It has a standard command format. From the dock station emulator, go to settings menu, then select general. On this page, make sure start first screen box is checked and the confirm power off is unchecked. The last one is Xbox 360 emulator Xenier. We need to pay a little bit of attention on this command and make sure you add the double dash with full screen at the end of this command. This will allow the game start in the full screen mode. There is nothing we need to configure inside this emulator. Also, I have made a detailed tutorial video for set up the Xenier emulator on ROG Ally and Windows device. Please check out this video on my channel for that. Yes, this is pretty much all for this video. If this is helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below if you have any questions.